In the first of a new series, we invite Spartans players to pick their 1-11, to the best 11 players they've played with in their careers. First up is midfielder Paul Robinson, who's had an illustrious career with Wheatley Bay and other clubs. Right, Paul, a career that spanned five non-league clubs uh, after a short career in the, in the Football League. Let's see, 1-11, to starting goal. Right, uh, number one, we're going to have uh, Terry Burke, who is ex-Blythe as well. Uh, but obviously played with Terry when he, when he was at Whitley, um, had that successful period at Whitley and he was a massive part of that, um, played in all the finals, kept us in a lot of games, um, a lot of, sort of the earlier rounds and things that I used to tremendous and made important saves. Uh, moving on to, I'm going to play a three, I could have played a four at the back and maybe put RJ in at right back, um, but I'm going to just play a back three, so I'm going to put Callum Anderson in there. Callum Anderson there, um, quick, strong, reads the game well, um, still to see anyone dribble past him, he had that ability where he'd be raced up with someone and he'd just lean in and he'd take the ball the other way and he'd be away and he'd be passing it into midfield. Um, and obviously a uh, ball as well. Yeah, brilliant on the ball, um, ideal for a midfield player, when, you know, he wasn't one of them who would just kick it and get rid of it, he'd be looking to play in the midfield which was ideal for me. So Callum, top man Callum, not the brightest in the world, but a really, really good player. Um, centre of the three is going to be Leon, Leon Ryan, um, who's just a leader, he's a winner, um, he's probably won you know, all there is to win at, at this level, um, and he's a top, top player, not many get the better of him in the air, um, reads the game well, and like I say, he's a, he's a winner, he's done it all, um, top lad as well, really, really good captain, um, he's won the Vars with Whitley, he's won the league, um, he's won the Vars with Spenny. Um, really, really good player, he's a top lad as well, top lad. Um, alongside these two, I'm going to go for, and not just because he beat us up if I don't put it in, but I'm going to go for Brian Rowe, who's probably in the top three players that I've played with in non-league without a doubt. Um, similar to Carl actually, he's quick, he's strong, aggressive, uh, people are scared of him, which is always a good thing, um, but similar to Carl, just brilliant on the ball. And uh, He was 34, 35 when I joined Whitby, and he was getting like player of the year, Northern League player of the year, and he was just, no one would get past him. Uh, and he'd be making runs all over, and he'd be playing it in the midfield, and he's just such a solid, solid player. Um, he's a Mackham like, which goes against them, but you know, we'll stick him in apart from that. So, as a, a back three, how do you think they'd work together? Um, good, I think Leon would be probably the one who would go and you know, win all the headers. Uh, you've got Callum who could, you know, quick and get round him. Similar with Roy on the other side as well. I don't think many would beat these two for pace. Um, and there wouldn't be many who would beat Leon in the air, so I think they'd work well together. So we'll move into midfield in, in the, the um, engine room. Midfield in the engine room, I'm going to go with two sort of hard working players. I'm going to go for Damon Robson, um, who probably didn't get the credit he deserved um, when he was at Whitley Bay. Um, did a lot of the you know the the hard graft and all the dirty jobs in football that you have to do. Um, and he probably did the most of the time for me because I was probably a PS somewhere. Um, but no, great, great player. Like I say, he didn't get the, the the praise that he deserved. I think the the best thing you can say about Damon is that people wouldn't talk about him when he played, but when he was out the team, people would say, "Oh, I miss Damon today." Um, uh, the former Newcastle Academy. Yeah, me and Damon played together since we were eight years old as well, and that maybe has helped in the in the partnership that we had. That we, we would link up quite well because we knew each other's game so well. Um, but no, nice lad. He's retired now. I don't know if that's anything to do with the fact that he played with me for so long, um, but he plays golf on Saturdays now at 3 o'clock, so no, great lad, Damon, and a great player as well. Um, next to Damon, I'm going to go for Mickey Cross, who I played with at Bedlington. Similar to Roy, he was, he was 35, 36 um, when I played at Bedlington, but what a player, just the all-round midfielder, he had everything, he could pass long short distances, he could shoot, he could tackle, he was the hardest working player on the pitch and he was everywhere, he was absolutely brilliant and he just used to give me licence to get on and get forward. Um, such a nice bloke as well, um, still think he has something to do with better than the younger teams now, um, but no, great, great player um, and such an experienced player. He was part of the team that won the Northern League five years in a row um, and they won senior cups and things like that, so such a really good experienced player. So I'm guessing we're having two holding midfielders, you've got an attacking midfielder. Yes, yeah, so we've got an attacking midfielder. It, it, he's an attacking midfielder stroke. He can go anywhere on the pitch because he's that good. He can do whatever he wants for me. Um, and that's Stephen Thompson at Darlington. Um, 
He is brilliant, basically. Um, he can play anywhere. I know he played there for Dalton a lot last season, but they've sort of shifted him back into there now. And he's someone that can just change a game in a split second from a shot or a turn, sets as many goals up as he scores. Um, and he's just brilliant. Some of the goals from the brief time I was at Dalton, some of the goals he scored were just outstanding. And he's one of them players that you, you would pay to watch because he's because he's so good on the ball and he's, he gets you off your seat. He's brilliant. And down the right? Down the right I've gone for Chrissy Moore. He probably won't be very happy the fact that he's a wing back. <laughs> but Callum could maybe help him out when we've got the ball on that side. So I've gone for Chrissy Moore, who is just on his day, he's just a devastating pacey winger. Direct, quick, skillful, and I've seen him torture teams just on his own. Some days it's just a case of getting the ball, you just look for Chrissy. Because he's that good, he can get it and he can beat three, and all of a sudden he's down there and he's putting crosses in. Um, brilliant player, great lad, still doing it now as well. Um, he's got everything in the game, he can come in and inside on his left and have shots, he can go down to outside, and he never gives a full back. Um, an easy game, but always a tough game when you're playing against Chrissy. Uh, keep playing the pause wins as well. Oh, definitely, without doubt. Um, especially, I think he played the first year, he missed the last two, but he went on to win the trophy after he won the Vars, which, which says it all really that he, he's played at our level and made that jump up to the trophy level and he won that as well, which he, he likes to remind us of now and again. <laughs> and, uh, and down the left? Down the left, we've gone for, gone for the magic man, Robbie. Um, what can you say about Robbie? Um, just a really brilliant football player, um, similar to Chrissy and Tomo. You would pay to watch him because he's that good. I get caught sometimes just stood watching him when he's sort of dribbling and you have to remember I've got to get the end of his cross here. Um, can go past players like they're not there, can come inside and switch 60 yard diagonals and ping them into top corners and he's just a joy to watch and it's great to play with him as well. It's nice to see that he's, uh, he's captain at the minute as well because I know how much he loves, loves playing for Blythe um, and he deserves it as well because he's, he's a tremendous player and he, and he, and he grafts his uh, thingies off. Um, and he's just a great lad to have on the team. So Robbie down the left, again, similar to Chris, he probably won't be happy having a wing back role. But then if anyone does skip past them, they've got to get past Brian Rowe. So. Any successful team always has a, a lethal strike partnership? Yeah. So no different? Definitely. There's, there's, um, there's a couple that I could have went for. Um, there's one obvious one, but there's a couple that I could have went for. I could have went for Sparky Laker, who's had a brilliant career and scored so many goals and is such a, a talented player. Adam Johnston as well, another one who can, can do a bit of everything, scored some great goals. Well, I've gone for um, I've gone for Chandran. I've gone for Anthony Chandran, who, on his day, and I've seen it many a time, is just unplayable. You can't get near him. Um, he's strong. He'll hold it up. He can run in behind. Um, he can turn you. He gets shots off. He can go on his left, his right. Good in the air. Just a top player. And I used to love playing with him. I had a, a good partnership going when we used to play at Bedlington and then later on at Blue Star. Um, and I used to love playing with him. I used to love linking up with him. We're on the same wavelength. Um, so I've got Chandran on that side, and on this side it's got to be, it's got to be Chowy, um, who you wouldn't necessarily look at and say is a great footballer, but for me he does the job that's the hardest to do in football, and he scores goals, and he does it by the bucket load. Um, I think he's, he's well past 250 now for Whitley in such a short space of time, and he can shoot off his left, off his right, from here, there, head. Brilliant in the head there, and you head it away in defence as well. Um, you know, I've seen games where you're thinking he's, he's been absolutely useless for 89 minutes, and he'll end up scoring two in the last minute or something like that. And you just how? How does he do it? Um, great lad as well, probably one of the nicest lads you meet in our league. Um, so yeah, I think that's quite a predatory strike force. So that's your eleven. Uh, any honourable mentions for people we've had to leave out? Definitely more more than one. Uh, I'll probably get loads and loads of stick as well. Um, Robbie Livermore was a great player who I played with in there. Um, just dead neat and tidy on the ball. He was a joy to play with. Um, Hodgie, Richard Hodgson, who was ex Blythe, um, we linked up well in there. He had a superb left foot. Um, you're looking at Chrissy Fawcett, another great player who had a massive contribution in obviously the Vars successes. Um, Terry Galbraith, superb player down there with an amazing left foot uh, at the back. Uh, Chrissy Hunter. Brilliant player, similar to Callum. I think I've just just went for Callum over there. I played with him for a bit longer. Um, Davy Coulson, Daz Timmons. There's, there's there's so many that I could have put in. It was hard to hard to get eleven. Um, but no, I think that's quite a strong team. So if your team is going to be successful, you need a, a strong captain. Have we got one? Captain would probably be Leon. I would say Leon because the abuse I'll get if I don't make him captain is probably not worth it. Uh, 
It's not worth it. So no, Leon, he, he was brilliant for us. He, he captained us the second year. But even when he wasn't captain and Davy Coulson was captain, he led by example anyway. Um, and he was always a great person to have in your team and lead you out. And finally, you've obviously worked under a number of, of managers. Mm -hmm. Uh, who do you have in charge of this lineup? No, I have. I've worked under some some really good ones. Tom, Tom's top notch here at the minute. He, he wants us to get it down and he wants us to to play and be brave on the ball, uh, which is great for myself. Um, Martin Gray, it was a it was a brilliant manager. It didn't quite work out with Darlow for myself, but you know he was a really good manager. And you can see why Dalton, I think, they're just going to keep going up and up and up when you've got someone like him in charge. Um, but it's got to be Chan, I think. Um, definitely Chan. He, he knows a player. Um, he signed me. When I was at Blue Star, not really getting a look in, and we sort of had some amazing times from there together. Um, really, really nice bloke as well. Loves football, loves Whitley Bay, um, and, and hopefully, I think it's 10 years since he's been there now, um, which is a fantastic achievement. And the, and the trophies that he's, that he's won and the things that he's won just sort of speak for themselves. So, be chat.